Good morning, this is Genesis Test Viewer 636. It was uh, released this morning, and I'm going to show you some things in it. First, let's have a recap on what we've done recently. Active speakers, there they are. If, for some reason, it doesn't populate correctly, keep an eye up here on the, uh, on the local chat. You press this bottom left button, and that will disconnect you from chat, and it will repopulate the list for you. There you go, it's repopulated with everybody who's talking. You can also change people's volumes in the local chat bar by clicking the two left arrows. There they all are. You highlight the name and you can use the slider down the bottom to move them up and down. So there's two routes to altering voice volume and refreshing. Don't forget the refresh button, bottom left, on the active speakers, and also the pause button. That's for when lots of people are screaming and shouting, and you can press pause, and you can see who the names are who are shouting the most. Other things to show you in this 636 test, control P for preferences, Genesis, advanced features. Now look at this, you can change, going from the top, you can change the favourites bar, turn that on and off, see the top here, uh, if I toggle that you'll see the favourites bar goes missing when I apply it, and if I apply it again it comes back at the very very top just under the name of Genesis, there you go, it's back again. Toolbar uh, delay, this is only for the user interface, so it's how long it delays before it shows you what you need to know. Which brings us nicely to the render options. You can render avatars with complexity below avatars maximum complexity. You can always render friends. You can only render friends, only render yourself. And avatar maximum complexity. If you set that to zero, it will render absolutely everything it sees. Now, in theory, there is a, there's a limit of 500,000 avatar render weight that, that Second Life will render. But there are avatars, nasty avatars out there who manage to get beyond that because their intention is just to crash you. So I set mine to 499,000, which means any of those pesky individuals who come in with a half million render weight trying to crash the viewer won't actually be rendered. So it makes me safe. But the default is zero to render everyone. And you always have to apply these things. Don't forget to apply. I'm now going to change it so that I only render my friends and I don't think any of these people are my friends. So if I do that and I apply it, oh, they've all gone missing. And I'm going to change it back. Now, we hope that's going to come in very handy for you, but this is my favourite feature at the moment. Down the bottom here where it says communicate, if you use the up arrow, you can then use I am myself. And if you I am yourself, you can keep notes. It's a bit like a notepad. Or you could, for example, copy a slurl and I am it to you only. And use that to get around places rather than pasting in a local chat where everyone thinks you're trying to promote somewhere. So you can. I am yourself and keep notes on things and better than that of course is you've got chat history if you have that turned on so if you always paste a slurl to yourself when you go somewhere in case you want to return I know you have teleport history but this is in addition you can leave notes on a place um, I can say here what a wonderful what a wonderful place and then map I'll be slow and paste it and then when I close that down if I I I am myself again I am myself there it is look wonderful place I won't go anywhere because this is where the landmark was taken oh teleport failed could not go closer to destination well that's fair enough isn't it so they are the features in 636 have a nice weekend.